Okay, so let me try to break this down for you the way I see it. Um, so I kind of see it like a pyramid. At the tip of that pyramid, at the very top, is science. So you should look at science, see what science says, the medical community, and try to make some sort of baseline, or not the baseline, but some, some feel for the situation off science. So currently, of those who test positive, uh, you know, well, I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we, we have a mixed bag here. We have people who say masks work. We have people who say masks don't work. We have people who say, you know, all these different things. We're getting a mixed bag, like like uh, Commissioner Zenker was saying. We're getting things from all different directions. I can probably pull out one for one doctor who says masks work for every doctor who says masks don't work, or or close to it. So then the next the next level down is risk. What's the risk fa factor that we're looking at today? For every single person who tests positive for COVID nineteen, you have a one point two percent chance of dying you have a 98.8% chance of living. So that's what it's based off to right now, as of today. I just ran the numbers. Uh, if you live in the state of North Dakota, just complete over, over the across the board, the state of North Dakota, you have a 0.0005% chance of dying from COVID as of today. If you live in the state of North Dakota, that's, that's just the raw numbers. Uh, so from a, a medical test standpoint, they're going to take who tests positive versus who dies. That's a 1.2% chance of death. If you now, and this is my own number based off of the actual numbers, if you live in the state of North Dakota, you have 0.0005% chance of dying from COVID. Now, the effect. How is it affecting people? Okay, so the sickness, it is affecting people. People are dying. Uh, and that's, that's very sad and it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, really. It's, it's never fun when people die. And uh, people are getting sick and, and you know, these, these sicknesses come around and they do what they do and then, uh, you know, they, they leave their waste behind them. Uh, so that's the sickness. The cure. What's the cure? Right now, what we're looking at right now tonight, this mask mandate, from the, just from the people I've heard tonight, if we pass a mask mandate, raped and strangled victims, what do we tell them? They have some psychological issues going on, major psychological issues. It's the, they, they, I don't even want to know what they go through when their breath is stifled. We had a polio patient who had, can't breathe. She can't breathe in her mask. She has to take it off. Uh, uh, let me see here. People who, who medically can't wear a uh, mask or psychologically can't wear a mask. You go into work, your boss says, put on a mask or I'm getting fined. What do you do? So the, the effects that this is having on people is, is, is drastic. We have the, the, the COVID uh, sick sickness. You have a 1.2% chance of dying from it if you test positive. And that just goes down from there. I granted, the older you are, the higher it goes. The lower, the younger you are, the lower it goes. Uh, but then you have the effect upon the, the effect of the the cure. So the effect of the cure, at least what we're looking tonight, which is shaky at best. So uh, is the science is shaky. The risk, I would say, the risk is low, and the effect is high. The effect of the this mandate is extremely high you're affecting people psychologically you know like the doctor said the next issue is going to be psychological we don't even know what this is going to do to our kids so but we do know that people who people who suffer from uh, some any type of mental condition or if they're high stress when they become short breath when they have shortness of breath that's going to trigger a panic attack and it just gets worse from there i've, I've lived in that world of panic attack with the loved one it's not pretty. And the more you have them, the more you get them. And so we have people who uh, rape, strangle victims, polio patients, or, or older people. Uh, we had a vet here who has lung issues. He can't breathe. Uh, people who can't work because of the mask. So that's, that's the effect. The next level down, and we're starting to get into the, the base here. The two things that are most important to me is trust. And we've said it, we've been saying it for a while, is personal responsibility. 
So personal responsibility. If anybody here wants to wear a mask, if anybody here wants to social distance, if anybody here wants to quarantine, I applaud you and your right to do so. Do it. This is America. I love you for it. Go for it. If you don't want to, go for it. This is America. I applaud you and your right to do so. So because we were elected as as public representatives, if we don't trust our people, how can we expect them to trust us? And so we need to allow people to do what they see as, as right for them. If I go into a business and I and they're supporting something, anything that I don't agree with, I'm not going to go to that business. If you go into a business and they don't require masks and you want to and, and you want them to wear masks for it, for your sake, you can social distance, you can ask them, or you cannot go there. You have that right, and that's a beautiful thing. And so, and that brings me to the bottom of this pyramid: rights. The rights of the people shall not be infringed. That's not me saying that. So the rights of the people, the right for them to take personal responsibility for their own actions. If I choose to live an unhealthy life, to, to be overweight, to do all these crazy things that make me a weaker person, health-wise, all this stuff, if I choose to go to a fast food every single day for every single meal, I'm going to have ramifications for that. And that would put me at serious risk for dying from a lot of things, really, you know, many, many things. So. That's the way I see it. Um, the, the, the rights is that the base and then it's trust is effect, risk, and science. The science is shaky. The effect, the, the risk is, I would, I would say, is relatively small. You have a 98.8% chance of living if you test positive. The effect is great. And the trust is very important and above all rights. So that's the way I break it down. That's, the, that's why I, um, I will not support a mask mandate tonight or ever unless the science is absolutely definitive, undisputed, and the death rate is exponentially higher because I will not infringe upon the rights of the people. So that's the way I see it. Do with it what you want. Any other discussion?